Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob, and today we're going to do things a little bit differently here on NBA 2K24. We are going to take a look at the WNBA and see, go through a season with them and potentially see where some of these new superstars are going to be. Because if you did not know in the real life world, tonight is the WNBA draft. So I thought I'd put them in the game. We'll see how their careers unfold. Players like Caitlin Clark and Cameron Brink and Cardosa and Edwards and Angel Reese. And we'll see how they do in WNBA here on NBA 2K24. So if you're excited for this one and potentially more of this kind of stuff, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more basketball content. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through the WNBA, is my WNBA mode, and we might go through about two or three seasons and kind of just see how these careers unfold as well as see who wins the championships over there. So we'll go ahead and start up a new save file and we will go ahead and I'm going to use custom rosters because I already have a roster that I will show and then I am going to just control all the teams but at the same time not probably put everything on auto. So we can just kind of take a look at how the things unfold from just kind of like a step back. So I will set up everything. All right, so we're in here in our save file as I'm controlling all 12 teams in the WNBA and I have made a roster or found a roster that does have the 2024 WNBA players on their team. So if we take a look, for instance, we have gone through the draft. I know I can't really start at the draft, which is kind of unfortunate, but as you can see, Caitlin Clark is on the Indiana Fever. She is going to be the number one overall pick, and she's already an 89 overall for them. The Sparks are going to have a couple of top picks this year, and they are going to have they have Cameron Brink as well as Camila Cardoso. So they are both in LA. And as far as other key players for the Mystiques, they have Aaliyah Edwards. And then the other main one is for the Minnesota Lynx, they have Angel Reese. Now I can't do all of the WNBA players that are gonna be drafted because there wasn't really a file I liked that had all of the players, but we do have the main ones, so we will see how they do in the upcoming season. And I've also gone ahead and for the next year, I do have the top players in that draft class. As you can see, Paige Beckers, Anissa Morrow, Sonia Citron, and Olivia Miles from Notre Dame, as well as Tahina Pow Pow from South Carolina. Haley Van Lith is on there as well. Yes, she's listed as LSU. I know in real life, she transferred out of LSU, but we have her there. So we'll see how it unfolds. And I have everything set to auto. So I am not controlling everything. You can see all user teams, everything is on besides draft players because I want to go through that myself and see how that works out. But we're gonna go through the season. I'm gonna sim it to the end and we'll see how the first year in the 2024 WNBA all right, so we simulated through the first season. We've gotten to the awards, and the MVP is Asia Boston of the Las Vegas Aces. To nobody's real surprise, go Gamecocks. She got it, averaging 19.5 points per game, 13.6 rebounds, a double-double. As we take a look, obviously, no surprise here. An absolute superstar of a player, third time with the MVP. I know it says 2023, but you know this is technically for us the 2024 season. And just the first team, again, just a dominant player. Angel Reese got Rookie of the Year. Yes, I know that's not the best picture of her, but we got to make do with what we got. 16.4 points per game, so it wasn't Caitlin Clark. It was Angel Reese. 8.4 rebounds, 3.1 assists, 48% from the field. A solid season for the former LSU Tiger out there in Minnesota. The sixth one of the year goes to Cameron Brink from the Los Angeles Sparks. She averaged 13 points as mostly off the bench. And then the Defensive Player of the Year is Asia Wilson as well. She gets another piece of hardware, 2.7 blocks on the year. And then Most Improved, Veronica Barton gets it from Dallas. And then Clutch Player of the Year, Nafisha Collier of the Lynx. Coach of the Year is Becky Hammond of the Las Vegas Aces. Again, they had another great year, 32-8 and on the season, trying to defend their championship for the third straight year. And then Executive of the Year also goes to the Aces. So that was our awards. Here is the all WNBA first team. We see Asia Wilson on there, Brianna Stewart of the New York Liberty, Alyssa Thomas of the Connecticut Sun, Brittany Griner also on there of the Phoenix Mercury, and Angel Reese gets first all WNBA team in her rookie season. Second team, we got Ogumike of the Seattle Storm, Aliyah Boston, go Gamecocks again of the Indiana Fever, Alina Deladon of the Washington Mystiques. Nabisha Collier, who got hurt of the Minnesota Lynx, gets on there, though. And Cameron Brink, the other rookie, gets on there. No Caitlin Clark signings so far. 
All defensive team, Diamond to Shields, the Chicago Sky, Ariel Atkins of the Washington Mystiques, Asia Wilson of the Las Vegas Aces, Brianna Stewart again, and Brittany Griner on there. All defensive second team, Rebecca Allen of the Phoenix Mercury, Brittany Skies of the Washington Mystiques, Leah Boston of the Indiana Fever, Nimka Ugumake of the Seattle Storm, as well as her teammate, Mag Brigbor. All rookie team, Angel Reese on there, Leah Boston, and no, she's not a rookie. This is going to be a kind of skewed just because, again, this is trying to do 2024 and 2023. So that's probably why Caitlin Clarkson on a lot of these awards. There she is right there. So she does make all rookie team for the WNBA. As we'll go through, here is what the bracket looks like as we have all eight teams who've made it. The Las Vegas Aces will face the Los Angeles Sparks in the first round. And four and five will be Connecticut Sun and the Dallas Wings. While on the other side, the two-seed Minnesota Lynx will face the seven-seed Seattle Storm, and the three-seed New York Liberty will face the six-seed Indiana Fever, who do make it in the postseason. Here is how the standings unfolded. We saw the Vegas Aces there first. The Lynx went 29 and 11, followed the New York Liberty 27 and 13, the Connecticut Sun 26 and 14, the Dallas Wings are 23 and 17, Fever go 21 and 19 in the first season of Clark with Boston out there. The Obviously, you got two great young talent out there. Seattle Storm and the Los Angeles Sparks. And the teams that did not make it were the Washington Mystiques, the Phoenix Mercury, the Atlanta Dream, the worst team in the league, the Chicago Sky, who only went 8 and 32. Now, I did have the trade deadline. There were some few, there were actually no signings, there were no trades. There weren't a lot of movements, even though I had everything to auto. So, I mean, there's nothing really to recap here. Just a couple of player signs, and a lot of GMs were fired because, well, I took control of everybody. So we'll simulate through, well, actually before we simulate through the playoffs, let's go ahead and look at the season stats just to see who led the league in most categories. Points per game, no surprise, was Asia Wilson. Brianna Stewart was right behind her. We see Ogumbawale out of the Dallas Wings. I know I'm sorry I messed that up. Also up there at Della Dawn with 17.7. Caitlin Clark was fifth in the WNBA with 16.6 points per game in her rookie year, despite not getting the award, it was Angel Reese who gets it. And then we see Jack Young on there, Ryan Howard, and then Oguma K rounds up the top 10. Your rebound leader is Asia Wilson by a good margin. And then the only other players who had a double digits were Alyssa Thomas and Brianna Stewart. And then your assist leader was Courtney Vandersloot of the New York Liberty, followed by Alyssa Thomas, Chelsea Gray, Jordan Canada, Veronica Barton, or Burton, excuse me, Sabrina, and Candace Parker gets up there trying to win another championship. Steals leader was Jordan Canada, and then your blocks was Asia Wilson. Best from the field goal was Brianna Jane Jones of the Sky with a 56%, and then your best three-point shooter was Elena Della Don. Kaylin Clark gets eighth in that category. After the first round, it is the Aces and the Dallas Wings who get it done, as well as the Minnesota Lakes and the New York Liberty. And the WNBA Finals is the Las Vegas Aces and the New York Liberty. Las Vegas trying to win their third straight championship. As we go through it, they are able to do so. The Las Vegas Aces have won the championship. They are your WNBA champions for the third straight year. And Asia Wilson is your finals MVP. That's year one done. We're not going to just do one. We're going to go through a couple. I want to do two or three, kind of get some of these rookies involved, get them up a little bit more. So let's go through the first offseason here in the WNBA. Now, the first thing that happened in the offseason is there was one retirement who actually gets into the Hall of Fame. Deanna Taurasi has called it a career, and what a career she has had. So she will be in the WNBA Hall of Fame. Uh, she also gets her jersey retired by the Phoenix Mercury. And then the draft lottery, who will get the top pick and potentially get some of these future teams. There's only four teams, obviously, who don't make the postseason, so they are part of the draft lottery. And the fourth pick will go to the Washington Mystics, so they do not move. We go to three now. Dallas has the best odds, and it'll go to the Phoenix Mercury, so they have landed the third pick, which means the Wings have leapfrogged into the top two, so it's between them and the Atlanta Dream. The second pick will go to the Atlanta Dream, which means the Dallas Wings have gotten the number one overall pick in this year's draft. Obviously, there's a lot of good players in the draft. Paige Beckers, Anisha Morrow, want to see what they do. And thanks to Chicago, the Sky, the worst team in the league, gave that pick 
to the Wings. So they cash in, make the playoffs, and get the number one overall pick. So here's how the WNBA draft unfolded here in 2025. Paige Beckers was the number one overall pick. She went to Dallas. Second pick was Anisha Shamara. She is now an Atlanta Dream. Sonia Citron went to the Phoenix Mercury. Tahina Pow Pow to the Mystiques. And then you can see how the rest of the draft unfolded here on your screen. Haley Van Lith going to the Minnesota Lynx. So I didn't show free agency. There wasn't a lot that happened. There was a couple of interesting things. One, Cameron Brink is in Seattle, which is interesting because she was with the Los Angeles Sparks. She's now out there in the storm after one season in Vegas. And the other interesting move is that Candace Parker is back with the Sparks. So after a couple years with Chicago and Las Vegas winning a championship a couple years there, she's back to where she started. You have to think it's probably winding down her career, wanting to end it where it all began. But we're into the 2025 WNBA season with the same thing. We will go through the year and see what happens. So I will see you at the end. All right, so we're back at the awards screen. Again, Asia Wilson with another MVP performance, averaging another double-double, 19 points, 12 rebounds on the season. Paige Beckers gets your rookie of the year, 10 points for the Dallas Wings in her first season in the WNBA. Sixth one of the year, Cheyenne Parker of the Los Angeles Sparks added 13 points in that regard. Defensive player of the year, Asia Wilson again, 1.9 blocks, no surprise there. Most improved, Shakira Austin of the Washington Mystics had a award there. Clutch Player of the Year was Angel Reese. She gets another one to her resume. She's already starting to build a pretty solid group of things there. That's her. Becky Hammond gets it again for Coach of the Year and Executive again as the Aces. Here is your LW NBA First Team. Asia Wilson, Alyssa Thomas gets on there. Brianna Stewart. Angel Reese gets named to the WNBA first team. So good for her. Two straight years that she's on that repertoire. Sabrina gets in as well. Your second team is Neka Ogumike, Satu Sabali, Brittany Griner, Arika Ogumbawale, and Cameron Brink now out there in Seattle. All defensive first team at Diamond to Shields, Brittany Skies, Asia Wilson, Brianna Stewart, and Brittany Griner. And then all defensive second team, Diamond Miller, Sabrina, Ineseku, Nikika Ugumake, Alyssa Thomas, and Shakira Austin. Your all-rookie team was Paige Beckers, Jade Curry, Kiki Irifin, Anisha Amaro, and Tahina Pow Pow out there in Washington. And we'll go through that. Here is a look at the playoffs. We'll see the Aces again, the number one seed. Indiana Fever are the eight this time. Phoenix Mercury get in the year with the four seed, and the Seattle Storm are the five. And the other side, the two seed again is the Minnesota Lynx. They're going against the seven seed Liberty, who were in the championship last year. And the Dallas Wings, behind Paige Beckers and company, get the three spot. And the six seed is the Atlanta Dream. Also, one thing I forgot to show last year, I'm sorry, is the All Stars. I will show it again this year, though. Here are the All Star teams. As you can see, it was Asia and Brianna Stewart, who were the captains. Starters are Asia Wilson, Alina Deladon, Alyssa Thomas, Courtney Vandersloot, and Chelsea Gray. All over there was Sabrina Ogumake, Angel Reese, who's now a two time All Star, Skylar Diggins Smith, and Brianna Stewart. As you can see, no Kaylin Clark. She's been kind of quiet so far in this series. Here's a look at the standings to see how they unfolded. Here's a look at how these standings unfolded. The Aces get the one spot followed by the Minnesota Lynx, who are 31 and 9. Mercury, Wings, Storm, Dream, Liberty, Fever, and the teams that did not make it, Washington Mystics, Chicago Sky again, Los Angeles Sparks, and the worst team was the 7-33 Connecticut Sun. Season stats, your leader this time in points was Brianna Stewart and Angel Reese. Well, actually, excuse me, that is wrong. 19 is Asia Wilson. I was like, I don't know why they're first. But Asia Wilson gets it at 19, followed by Brianna Stewart and Angel Reese. And then Ogumba Wale, Sabrina up there as well. You can see the list on your screen. Kaylin Clark not in the top 15. So very interesting. We'll have to see what her stats look like at the end of this. Your steals or your rebounds per game is Alyssa Thomas leading the way, followed by Asia Wilson, Leah Boston, and Brianna Stewart. Assist was Alyssa Thomas. Steals leader was Ugum McKay. And then your blocks leader again was Asia Wilson and Brittany Griner. Let's go to the fever and see if, how did she do? So the reason why Kayla Clark was not showing up on any of those things, because she was actually out for the year. She tore her right ACL during the season and I sidelined her for a big portion of the year. So unfortunate for her as she was having a really good year, 22.6 points per game, but only played 
in a total of 15 games before going down with that ACL. We have to think she's looking to bounce back in the upcoming year. After the first round is the Aces facing the Storm and the Wings facing the Liberty. So the New York Liberty, they upset the Minnesota Lynx trying to go back to back in the finals here. And it actually will be a rematch of last year. The Las Vegas Aces and the New York Liberty make it to the finals. As far as your NBA champions, it will be again the Las Vegas Aces who are building quite the dynasty out there in the Sin City. As your MVP was Asia Wilson. I mean, she is having a heck of a career here. As you just look at all of her awards, you can see her right there. And that's not even including the year that this franchise replaced. So she's technically a four-time. NBA champion and just racking up their awards again go Gamecocks so let's go through one more season we'll go through a third year and see how these rookies do in their third we've already seen players like Angel Reese kind of take this step Caitlin Clark unfortunately had the injury Paige Becker has had the rookie of the year and players like Asia Wilson are just continuing to dominate here in the league there were a couple of retirements so you can see them on your screen so back to the draft lottery we'll see how this one unfolds this time as the Sun have the fourth best odds and they get it there. So they stay put this time. Three has the Mystics getting that prediction and it stays with them. So this time, no funny business here in the draft. So that leaves the Sparks with the second best odds and they get it. So nothing changes here in this year's WNBA draft as the Dallas Wings will stay with the best odds. In the second straight season, they have the number one overall pick here's a look at how the rest of the draft will unfold real quickly as we'll get to that point actually as we'll sim all the way to the WNBA draft here's a quick review of the draft Kiki Rice was the number one overall pick followed by Lauren Betts Kayla Lyles Alexis Snow and then Leslie Ortiz round out the top five and you can see the rest of the picks here Hannah Stolke going to the Mystics at number seven as well as far as movement in free agency, this was a very interesting year in free agency for the WNBA. There's a couple of them. We'll go through them. First off, the Liberty, they signed Jordan Canada to their squad for a couple of years with the Atlanta Dream. She will pair up with Brianna Stewart and Sabrina out there in New York. The interesting one, Chicago Sky have decided to kind of go big with their young players. They signed Angel Reese away from the Minnesota Lynx. She's now in Chicago, and she's also being met by Camila Cardoso. So two young, now third-year players who are trying to take this league by storm are out there in Chicago. They're trying to make the playoffs. But then the biggest one in the free agency period, the Atlanta Dream have landed. Asia Wilson, she has left Las Vegas she is now part of Atlanta. So is this the end of the dynasty out there in the Sin City? Can Atlanta get in on the action? So very, very interesting there. They also have Anisha Mara, who they drafted a couple years ago. So this is a squad to watch out for going into this season. And let's just go sit ahead and see how it unfolds. So the year's over. A familiar face gets the MVP, but on a new squad, Asia Wilson's first year in Atlanta. She averages 20 points per game this year, and she gets another MVP award. Your rookie of the year is Flo J. Johnson. She gets it. So getting it with New York Liberty. I forgot to highlight her in the draft, but there she is. Good for her. Kelsey Mitchell gets six woman of the year out there in Los Angeles Sparks. Asia Wilson again, your defensive player of the year. Sika Cohn gets it most improved with Dallas. And then clutch player of the year, Shakira Austin again getting that award for Washington. Coach of the year this time is Tanisha Wright out there in Atlanta. You can see the record. 38 in two, they lost two games all year. Seems like the Wilson signing paid off for them. And obviously they get their executive as well. All in WNBA first team, Asia Wilson, Angel Reese on there again. Brianna Stewart's leading the way. Shakira also a lot of familiar names. Abuma K, second, Aliyah Boston out there. Simbali of the Dallas Wings. Collier gets it. Melissa Thomas and Chelsea Gray. All defensive first team, Skies, Westbrook, Wilson, Stewart, and Shakira Austin. Second team, Gray, Pow Pow, now getting on the list. Boston, Savali, and Griner. Your rookie team, Floje Johnson, Kiki Rice, Lauren Betts, Janice Randolph, and Tierra Love. And here's a look at the bracket. A new number one seed, the Atlanta Dream, are now the number one. So they'll be facing the eight seed Chicago Skies. So their two Skyings do end them in the playoffs. There's 10. 
very tough task in front of them. Four seed is the Washington Mystics against the five seed Indiana Fever. Now there is going to be on the other side a first round rematch of the past two championships. Very interesting matchup. The Aces and Liberty and the three seed Wings versus the six seed in Mercury. Take a look at the standings. Here is how they all officially unfolded. The Dream, obviously the top team, 38-2. Minnesota Lynx didn't make it. They lost Reese. They're 15-25. The Sparks also don't make the postseason. Seattle Storm and the Connecticut Sun were the worst team. Here are your league leaders. No surprise at the top. Wilson and Angel Reese. She has definitely had the best season of the rookies from the first draft class. Rihanna Stewart, 17.9. Savali with 16.8, followed by Ryan Howard. Obuma K, Collier, Shakir Austin, Cameron Brink, the top nine, and then Kelsey Plum is 10th. Your rebounds per game leader was Shakir Austin this time, dethroning our usual prospects, Asia Wilson, Angel Reese, Satao Sabali, Elia Boston, Brianna Jones, and Brianna Stewart, all with double digits. Assists per game was Chelsea Gray, 6.7. Nice season for her. Steals leader was Skies again, and then Blocks, was Alok Kuyer, who is a rookie, getting in on the action good for her. Again, a player we don't see is Kaylin Clark. Where is she at in this? Well, if we go to the Fever, she was the top player there with 21.1, but she only played in 25 games. So it looks like injuries are starting to hit her a little bit, kind of ruining her season here in the series. As well as another player, the Wings, I do want to highlight Paige Beckers. She had 10 points per game. Wasn't the best season for her, but, you know, a solid 46% from the field as well. So let's go back to the playoffs now and simulate through each round. As we go through the first round, it is the Dream facing the Fever in the semifinals. So Caitlin Clark is one series away from getting to the championship. She just has to go against the Juggernaut. The Aces keep their four-peat hopes alive as the Wings also beat the Mercury. And then the championship, it will end up being the Aces and the Dream, the heavyweight matchup that everybody wanted to see as Asia Wilson goes against her final squad trying to dethrone their four-peat hopes. Dream have not lost in the postseason. And your NBA champions, WNBA champions, will be the Atlanta Dream. They get it done. Asia Wilson probably caps off what has probably been the most insane run I've ever seen in a sim as she gets her finals MVP and wins it all in the final year. So that'll do it for this. We went through three seasons of the WNBA, saw how some of the young team players' careers unfolded. Unfortunately, Caitlin Clark didn't get the best run here in this sim. Angel Reese really showed out to all WNBA first team all three years. And we saw Paige Beckers get Rookie of the Year and a couple of other players stand out. Cameron Brink went to Seattle and had a little bit of hope over there. And then the Chicago Sky trying to build their team around Angel Reese and Camila Cardoso and make the playoffs in the final year. But I hope you guys enjoyed the sim. I had some fun with it. It was fun to do something different, kind of highlight some of these players. If you did like this kind of episode and you do want to see more WNBA stuff, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below. Let me know. Maybe we can get a little something going here with the WNBA as their season gets ready to pick up. Maybe I do a franchise or my WNBA here. Anyway, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.